Hello and welcome. You are watching Thomas's Tower Readings with myself, Thomas Yonrek. I have a guest this month. This is my friend Claire. Hello. She runs the Knotted Tree Holistic Therapy Center in Telford. I said it 11 times. This is the 12th time now. I'm obviously exhausted, but uh, she runs the Knotted Tree Holistic Therapy Center in Telford. The uh, information about that place um, and what she does is in the description box below. There's a link to her Facebook page. Uh, make sure you check this out. What we're doing here, this is the August 2023 general reading for the sign of Pisces. My sign. <laughs> and um, it is a general reading, so it might not resonate with all of you. My belief has always been that the people who need to hear the messages will find the channel. Um, but it is a general reading, so um, if it doesn't, take what resonates with you um, and leave the rest for other people, if that makes sense, right? Um, and what we will do here, we will divide, or loosely divide, the reading into sections so it's a bit easier to actually deal with stuff and understand it all. So we will look at the overall energy for the month of August 2023 for the sign of Pisces. Before we then look at your emotional core, um, you know, whether or not there's love that need, that's coming in or whether or not there's healing that needs to happen. Uh, and then lastly, we look at opportunities as they present themselves in the month of August. Now, Pisces. Pisces is the sign of the dreamer. Back in the day, when astrology became prominent, because it has to do with the sun a lot, Leo would be seen as, as the most empowered sign. These days, the most empowered sign is the sign that is the softest, that is the sign of the dreamer, which is Pisces. And what I'm getting for us here, for us Pisceans, is no matter what happens in August, you will be quite emotional about things because you are a water sign. The sun, yeah, sorry, the, the, the moon governs water and, and affects water quite a bit. And we have two really massive supermoons in August. So um, the sign the most affected by it, <coughs> excuse me, will be Pisces. I recorded a video. Um, about the, 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 the moons, it's called um, A Tale of Two Supermoons. It, so the point is you find it on that very channel. Once you're done here, do yourself the favor and watch that video. There's also a Love Life reading um, for the month of August on the channel, right? Um, so there's tons of stuff happening here <laughs> this month, um, which is quite surprising because normally I only record this part, right? But anyway, I only work here. If the guides want me to do more, I will do more. Um, so, and now what we'll do is we will look at the overall energy for the month of August and then I just want to change stuff. I am Pisces. I do not want to read about my emotional core by myself. So I'll let you do both. Oh. And then I will do um, just the opportunities. <laughs> right? Take your time. Throw that at me. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> now we're looking at, at the overall energy for the month of August, for the sign of Pisces. And I should sit back. Okay, so <laughs> what what's coming through here is um, very much uh, in overwhelm and overflow. So within that emotional side of things, um, I feel there's a lot being put in and um, again, needing to take that step back. Um, I've done so many cards here and it was a constant flow of um, knowing that you're not alone, knowing that you've got your guides there to support you um, protecting yourself um, from uh, bringing boundaries in is what I feel um, and protecting yourself from uh, those that are draining you um, and you know just stepping back uh, quite the retreat type of thing so as you can connect more so as you can be more within your heart uh, be more within your gut uh, more grounded um, and as we know when that happens we get more ideas and more inspiration coming through um, and we have more of a flow um, but we've also got that overwhelm and, plen and, and plenty it's it's like there's so much going on that we just need to just sit back um, and see things from a different perspective um, but uh, we've got Archangel Michael come through here a lot for, for this as well to uh, bring in the trusting and uh, very much um, the courage to move through things um, whether that be business work or relationships but I feel I 
I feel like I'm going straight into the... Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, sure. Um, I feel that it's very much about um, uh, connecting with self, but trusting in self, but moving forward in the relationship with self. Um, and uh, bringing in the love... Is it, I feel like I'm saying self a lot here. <laughs> I do feel like it's very much a month for self, self-connection, self-acceptance. Um, and looking at what is it that I'm holding on to that is not serving me. So very much allowing that to to, to go. Um, the wolf is really important here, but I can't remember what the wolf is about. Um, if I were, could just in. eject myself in here. So, <laughs> yes. so the wolf, by default, shamanically speaking, is the most um, revered of all um, animal guides. And what the wolf is about is understanding that by default you would like to run your own pack. You do not function super well in isolation. At the same time, everybody in your pack needs to know what they're supposed to do. So learn to delegate. Really, really important. Learn to delegate what every battle that your pack is fighting is for you to take part in. If that makes sense, right? And understand that the, pack, the, the the wolf, by default, is obviously, you know, dogs come out of wolves, that makes sense. Uh, wolves, the, the wolf is the only canine on this planet that if push comes to shove, he could survive, maybe not well, but he could survive <laughs> on berries and on plants, which is very unusual in the world of canines. Mm -hmm. So you are resourceful. Right? And you're not going to wither away just because you have a bit of a harder time. Right? That's the wolf. Ah, so it makes sense in that finding, um, I feel like it's a finding love, but not just finding love to, to bring to you. It's, it's a lot of finding that love within, because the more we love ourselves, um, and it's not selfish to love ourselves, um we bring that so remember we have lots of mirrors of people that come into our lives it's a mirror for us of what we're needing to change or um reflect on um so very much uh, um surrounding yourself and protecting your energy really important uh, with the archangel michael side of things um bringing that strength in bringing those shields in to bat off those that are taking your energy um, and uh, go with your desires, really go within, flow with them, understand them, where's it coming from, where's it taking you, you know, um, and sit with what you truly want um, to bring into your life. Thank you so much. And before we're looking at, because she needs to reshuffle the cards, so uh, <laughs> before we're looking at the opportunities, I want to talk to you about Archangel Michael because he came in quite strongly. Yeah. And there is an Archangel Michael grid. Um, that I said a lot of times here, um, it's quite uh, oftentimes used in, in, in Reiki, but here's the Archangel Michael. What you can do is, when you feel you're going through things, which obviously is, is, is happening to us Pisces if, uh, Pisces, if I understood that all correctly, right? Um, there's a thing that you can say, I call on Archangel Michael to fill us around me with your blue flame of protection and healing. I asked you to cover me to the front, to the back, to the left, to the right, from above, from below, and in the center. I asked you to cover me to the front, to the back, to the left, to the right, from above, from below, and in the center. You say that seven times, right? Just to be sure, <laughs> I suppose, <laughs> right? You say that seven times, and then all you need to say is like, you know, thank you, God, Goddess, and so it is. I'm a very atheist person, so God, Goddess has nothing to do with uh, anything that you might associate with religion. It is simply um, a term that has always been used for high energies, if that makes sense. So God, Goddess energy is high energy. And because Archangel Michael has that, it doesn't require a belief system when you say God, Goddess. It just means God, Goddess, and so it is. It's easier than saying Archangel Michael and a million other things. <laughs> right? um, and that is just a very good way of, um, of having a, a bit of a mantra if that makes sense, right? So you could go somewhere. Let's just say you have to go somewhere and you, you expect the meeting at work not to go so well or whatever. 
and you just go, you know, once you learn to, to, to memorize these words, and you kind of go like, ask you to cover me to the front, to the back, to the left, to the right, from above, from below, in the center, and then you just hum this on, on your way. Um, things will change for you because you can feel how this, this, this mantra changes your energy and therefore you are more protected. So it's quite a powerful thing. So uh, amazing that, that, that this came up. Right? Fabulous. Okay, so the sure. opportunities um, for August. Um, feel the love coming from Mother Earth. And we know that, you know, the flowers are out, the, you know, being out in nature um, really does comfort us. Accept that comfort, you know, um, really sit with it. Um, the, uh, I feel there's, um, I've got these ones, it's power and forgiveness. There is so much power in forgiveness. So there's a forgiveness that's going to come up for you, whether this is a forgiving of self or forgiving of others. It's always easier to forgive others than it is to forgive yourself. So uh, maybe there's something that will come up, allow that, so acknowledge, accept, um, forgive and release. Yeah. Um, and I feel there's some type of movement, some type of action that will be coming in play there as well. But the more we connect, the more that we can action on what is true for us. Awesome. Thank you so much. That's all we got. That concludes your reading. Please like, subscribe and share. And if you like my work, you can buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. Make sure you check out the information uh, of Claire's um, page, not the, not the tree. Um, Holistic therapies, uh, you know, I've said it so many times, right? Um, but make sure you, you, you check out that link because she is awesome. And uh, so thank you so much for, for being here. And thank I you. see you all very soon. Bye. Bye.